once Harun Rashid. Harun Rashid was the ruler of three quarters of the world. So he was traveling and the famous Majzu Behlol, he was sitting on the side of a graveyard. He seen Harun with his cavalry coming, so he called out to him and he said, Oh Harun, stop. So Harun Rashid did not hear him, so he called out loud and he said, Ya ghair ma'qul, that oh, the one without intellect, stop. Who is he telling? He's telling the king, Harun Rashid, that madman, stop. So Harun Rashid, he stopped his cavalry and he had respect for scholars and pious servants of Allah Ta'ala. So when he started walking towards him, Harun asked him, Obviously, it's an insult for the king in front of all his soldiers and his ministers. You're calling him a ghair ma'qul, you know, someone without intellect. So he said, Bahlul, are you majnoon or am I majnoon? Are you a mad person? Am I a mad person? So Bahlul, without any hesitance, he said, definitely you are the mad one. He said, how do you say so? He said, the one who polishes his his uh, castles all the time and he prepares his cavalry all the time and he's always working you know to beautify his worldly life and he knows one day it's coming to an end and on on the other side i am sitting here next to the graveyard and i know this will last forever my palace that i am preparing meaning the palace of jannah will last forever your palace is coming to an end so you tell me who is the mad person from amongst us two so Harun realized that he is giving him good advice. So he said, Zidni, give me some more advice. So he said, Alayka bi kitabillah, that stick to the book of Allah Ta'ala. Watanabbah min al khabari wal abari fiha, that take lessons from the different information that the Quran is giving, the news and the views that the Quran is giving, take lessons from there. So Harun Rashid said that, O oh, Behlul, I was going on an important journey. You know, you gave me such a beautiful advice. Can I help you? Can I assist you? Can I come to your assistance in any way? So he said, yes, I have three problems I need you to solve. So he said, what are these three problems? This is besides my topic. I just, I don't know, I drifted away. What are the three problems? He says, first is I want you to increase my life. I think my life is too short. You know, put some access to my ears. You know, that's why some of us, uh, some of, as when we hear a, the message that the doctor has given so many days, so many hours, so many months. The doctor is not given. The doctor is just mentioning his experience that it's possible because we, have, we had such patients, it's possible. But the time is written by Allah. So he said, increase my years. Harun Rashid said, I cannot do so, I'm not capable of doing so. That only Allah does. He said, okay, save me from Malakul Mot. Save me from Malakul Mot. You have such a big army and all your soldiers and everything. Tell them to protect me from Malakul Maut. Obviously he was trying to pass a message to the king. Harun Rashid said, I cannot do so. So he said, lastly, enter me into Jannah. Write me a certificate, you know. These days you get some groups. They say when a person dies, then they go to the Allama or the Sheikh, they write a certificate, put it in the grave, that this guy is Jannati. And then 100,000 is cashed in the bank account. Allah Ta'ala save us. He said, enter me into Jannah. So Harun Rashid said, I cannot. I cannot do so. So Behlul told him, then remember you are also a servant. You are not a king. You have this a wishful thinking. It's a notion that you are a king. But you are not a king. You are a servant like me and I do not want any need. I don't want anything from a servant. So prepare for tomorrow, Allah Ta'ala is saying. So these pious servants, they, look at this, they looked at the world and they said, this is not an abode to stay forever. Whichever realm of life you are living in is not to stay forever. But you have to live in the world anyway. You can't drown in it. So they said, let's prepare a ship. Uh, modify your ship. Prepare it in such a way that you live in the world, but you are reaching your destination as well. So you are on the water, you are in the sea, you can't drown. Otherwise your life comes to an end. At the same time, you're reaching your destination as well. وَاتَّخَذُوا جَعَلُوهَا لُجَّةً what was this ship? Uh, they equipped themselves with good qualities. They equipped themselves with a'mal, with a'mal is saliha. That is why we look, at, we look in the past, uh, the khilafa and the khalifa like Harun Rashid, they, they ruled three quarters of the world, but they did not lose their sight of the year after. 